Today, I want to create a simple to-do list application with animations adding a new to-do and sorting the completed to-do to the bottom once it's checked. Let's first create the to-do object and some samples for the demo. Don't forget to make it identifiable. Now declare state property initialized with the sample data and the list view that will display all the to-dos. Wrap the list into a navigation container to add a title. Create a button to add a new to-do by using using a toolbar item. Now it's time to mark the to-do has completed. Let's add a check button and toggle is complete property from to-do item. However, this is not possible because the element coming from the list is immutable. Instead, let's generate the list from the arrays indices and change the color to gray for completed to-dos. The code is compiling, but we are getting a weird behavior. It's checking, but not adding a new to-do anymore. Also, we got this warning. Each cell in SwiftUI must have an identity in order to be displayed in the screen. The problem here is that the identity in this list is not stable. For example, changing it to a fixed range, we can see that warning is gone because we always show three elements in the screen. Swift UI can infer the IDs for identity with fixed ranges, but not for variable arrays. To fix this, we have to be explicit and say what is the ID for each element in the cell. Let's add another parameter in list called ID and use a keypad to make reference to each index. Now the app is working as expected. The next step is to sort the completed to-dos to the bottom. Let's create a sort method after toggling the to-do. Nice, the to-do list is sorted as expected. Finally, let's add animations when checking or adding a to-do. Hmm, the add to-do animation is working, but not the sorting. Look at the code for a moment. Can you spot why sorting animation is not working? The key to understand the problem is in add button. Why is it working here but not in the sorting? In this operation, we are adding a new element in the array. That means a new index is created. Our list is observing changes on the indices. For example, at the beginning, we have only 0, 1, and 2. And after putting a new value, now we have 0, 1, 2, and three. Swift UI recognizes a new ID and then triggers the animation. What about when we check a to-do? Following the example, if we want to check by X at index one, it's doing the update without animation because the IDs haven't changed. Before the checking, we had zero, one, two, and three. And after the check, we have zero, one, two, and three again. In other words, since that view identity is depending only on the indices of the array, SwiftUI cannot trigger the animation because the order and quantity of IDs is still the same. How can we solve this? First, do not use indices to represent your view identity in SwiftUI. We are using it here because we need to mutate the state of each element, but this is not a long-term solution. Luckily, we have a nice way to mutate the state and generate the view identity using identifiable. Instead of passing the array directly, let's pass the binding object associated and remove the index parameter to a binding object of each element in the array. Now replace all dependencies related to index to just simple to do. And there you go. Now both adding and sorting animations work together. Remember what I said? Do not forget to make to do identifiable. That's the reason. Now SwiftUI is reading not a simple index int, but a UUID that represents the ID. With this update, it can track where's your view depending of the sorting, because UUID is unique. That solves the issue with animations. However, there is one more thing. Believe it or not, there is something wrong in this sorting algorithm, but we will explore that in the next video. Thanks to all the people that helped me on Twitter, LinkedIn, and GitHub to solve this problem. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and leave your thumbs up. My name is Pete and this, this is Ifan Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.